Hello everyone, my name is Jax and welcome to part 4 of 5M scripting with TypeScript. Today's video we're going to make an MOTD command which will point to a config file and in that config file we can define the message of the MOTD to whatever we want. So to get started with our TypeScript template already open, we're going to navigate to the prod build JS file. And in here, going to go right next to the server part, press comma, quote, and we're going to navigate to global forward slash start LTS. And we got to make sure we have a period and a forward slash at the beginning of that. And we're going to make this folder and then make a file with a TypeScript file extension at the end of it. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's right click make new folder, call it global. In this folder, right click new file, config.ts. That's what I'm going to call it. You can call it anything you want. I just like to call it config.ts because it holds the code to load the config. In here, we're going to make two constants. We're going to make constant called config path equals quote config.json because we're going to use a JSON file to load the config. And also that is where we put all of our config properties in there. We're gonna make another constant called raw data. And this is going to be load resource file, get current resource name with two parentheses. We're gonna do a comma and then the config path. Underneath this, we're going to make the interface. And now the interface is really important. We can call it config. The interface is important because the interface needs to mirror what we have in the config, but it doesn't need to be our values. It just needs to be the type. So for example, we're making an MOTD script, so we need a message. So we're gonna define the message as a string. And a string is essentially anything with quotes surrounding it. If it was a number, like one, two, three, four, it would just be number. If it was an array, it would be square brackets like that. Anything else, it would just be that type. Same thing if we added like another property, like, I don't know, yeah, timeout, that would be added there too. But we're just gonna do one property. And underneath this, we're going to do let CFG. What let CFG does is it allows the CFG variable to be changed in our code. If we tried to change raw data or config path, we can't do that because the config path is constantly config.json, cannot be changed. If we give the CFG a type of anything, it can mean anything and it can be changed to anything. So underneath this, we're going to test if raw data is not null. Because if it was null, it wouldn't be able to load the file. We're going to make a constant called config, and then we're going to point it to the config interface, and we're going to do equals json.parse, which allows us to read the JSON data, and it points to the raw data, uses the load resource file native function to load the config JSON file. And underneath this constant, we're going to do CFG equals config. So now when we call CFG, CFG means config. Next to the final curly bracket, we're going to do catch and then error in parentheses. We're going to type console.error and we're going to type error parsing the file. So what this means is it loads the file, it just can't read it. And then at the very bottom, we're going to do else, which means that the file is null and we're going to do console.error again and we're going to do error reading the file and then what this does is it ensures that the message is a string if we try to make the message a number it would probably cause an error and if for some reason this doesn't work we're going to catch the error and then just log this error parsing file because it could not read inside the, the contents of the file. And then if it doesn't, if it is null, then it just says error reading the file. 
which basically just says unable to load the file. Now we can export CFG in curly brackets, and then we can go here and import CFG from where you uh, quote dot dot forward slash global. You don't want to do the uh, file extension because that's not needed. You just need the file name. Now down here, we're going to do register command, call it MOTD, and we're going to give it parameters such as source, which is a number, words, which is a string array, and then we're going to do parentheses equal greater hand sign, curly brackets, lost the word there for a second. Right next to the last curly bracket and the last parentheses, we're going to do comma false. That way we don't make the command restricted. And we're also going to do emit chat add message and it's going to be args. We're going to make the chat message. We're going to make it say in red MOTD and then followed by config message. So we want the config message to be in CFG dot message. Now we can actually create the config. So let's go ahead and right click new file config.json. In here, we're going to do curly bracket and then enter. And it should bring you to something like this. Anytime we make a property within our config file in JSON, we need double quotes. We're going to type message and then our message, which is this is the value. So we also want to make sure that anytime we're putting things in quotes, we do double quotes. And then anytime we make a property, we put it in quotes, put a colon in between. You can choose to have a space. I like to have a space. It looks nicer, but that's optional. So now the last thing that we need to do is put the file in our FX manifest Lua file. That way we tell the server that, hey, this is a file that is capable of being loaded within the script. So what I did was I typed files, curly bracket, quote, config JSON, because it's not in a folder, so we don't need to add a folder and then a forward slash followed by the config.json file. We just need to add config.json since it's also in the main directory as well. And you do need curly brackets. Curly brackets are needed because I have tried without curly brackets when I was testing this method and it did not work. Uh, if you do forget to add this, you will be met with undefined and also the error, um, this one, error rename file, you'll get this because it'll be null. So that is it for the config MOTD command. So now we go in our server console here. We type refresh because we edited the FX manifest. So we need to type refresh and that refreshes the FX manifest. And then that way you can ensure my script and it'll load everything, including the new file that is now detected within FX manifest. So now if I go to our game here and I type MOTD, you can see that it comes up as a command and press enter MOTD. This is the best server ever. Now, if I wanted to change the message, I would say, um, so before it said, this is the best server er ever. And now it is going to say, welcome to the best server. So now that we changed the config file, all we need to do is restart the script. And now if we go back in game here and I type MOTD again, welcome to the best server. Now let's do one more thing here. I did mention that we can make more properties. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that to make another property with two comma enter again, double quotes, name the property, whatever you want. We're going to say cool underscore beans. And we're going to say cool beans means true. We don't want to add a comma because that is called a trailing comma. And Jason does not like that. Now that we've made a property and defined it as true, we need to go to our config.ts file. We need to edit the interface. So in the interface, we added cool underscore beans and cool beans is a boolean and now in our script what we should do 
is we can make an if statement. So if config dot cool underscore beans, which this means if CFG underscore cool beans is true, which in the config it is, and then curly bracket is like then. So let's reformat this here. So if CFG cool beans is true, then emit the chat message, MOTD config message, which would be in this case, welcome to the best server. And then we're also gonna make an else and we're going to say MOTD not enabled. It'll allow us to view the message if cool beans is true, but if it's false, it'll say MOTD is not enabled. We do need to make sure that we're building everything. So I'm in watch mode. To get in watch mode, if you don't know, it's npm run watch and it just does that. If you need to know how to build, you just do npm run build, and it builds it. So now we can go back into Chrome, and we can restart our script. And let's go back to our server here. We type MOTD, welcome to the best server ever. And now I am going to change the cool beans property to false, and then restart our script. If we do slash MOTD, it'll say not enabled. So that is how you make the script using a config file. Um, it is a little bit of a process to do, but once you're done with the process, you kind of get the idea of how to configure and add more things to it, it becomes pretty easy. So that is gonna be all for today's video. Uh, if you are enjoying this playlist, please give me a like and consider subscribing to my channel. Feel free to join my Discord and feel free to comment if you have any questions. But that is all for me, so deuces guys.